Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Legends Saturday. We got the new Legends. As you guys know, typical routine. Got the 92s, the LT 93s. Now, last week's Legend drop was pretty fun. Edger and James was fun at all, but of course, we did discover that he was just another way to say Bo Jackson, which does suck because I was kind of excited for him. But we got LT yesterday, so in terms of running back, they more than made up for it. Now, got to check out today's cards, see if they're any, they're worth our while, of course, check them out. Now, I do want to pick up LT really bad, but I'm waiting for his price to drop. He is 400k, which actually isn't that bad, but I already know that that's like, the thing with LT is like, there's Barry and there's LT, right? So he's still not the best back, so 400k is going to drop quickly as soon as someone else comes out. So I'm kind of waiting. I want that next back, like that neck, the, the next you must have back, and that's probably going to be it. But if LT comes into like the 300k range, I'll right probably scoop him. And then, of course, I do want a few other guys as well. That's what I've been holding the coins for. I'm letting most of you kind of kill the market a little bit before I go hop into it again. But moving on from that, guys, Poodle Squad today. If you guys want a chance to shout it out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell next to the sub button. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys, we got uh, Drippy Ice. Shout out to Drippy Ice or DRXP Ice, if you want to be precise, uh, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much, man, for showing support. And if you guys want coins, pick up any of the new legends, some of the most feared stuff, the LTDs, Khalil Mac. Head over to my reserve down below. They will be selling the cards directly on there. And of course, coins and training and everything else you need. And everything's currently discounted for most feared, as well as use code Poodle for 15% off. That's better, guys. Go check out the sets real quick. For today's new legends, we do have Joe Montana and John Randall. Now, those pictures are very low quality. Now, if you guys do know the thing with Joe Montana and John Randall, Staples and Madden. Now, John Randall's always a very good card. Of course, we got to check out his stats, but John Randall usually is kind of one of the best defensive tackles because he's typically pretty athletic while also being able to pass rush and block shed. Now, Joe Montana is iffy. Usually, if his throw power is good, he's a pretty good quarterback. He's kind of like a more mobile Tom Brady usually, though, like a, a like average throw power with good accuracy, with good, like, decent, like, average speed. Like, he's usually like a Tom Brady with average speed for the most part. Now, compared to the last few drops, I mean, obviously, Steve Smith and uh, Ricky Jackson were the best drops in a while as well as Michael Vick and Dion, It's going to be tough to compete with those drops, but Joe Montana and John Randall is more of a name thing than it is like a you know, must-have cards, in my in my opinion, because John Randall might have be must-have. I just don't know if Joe Montana will be. And make sure you're playing your Legend Solo today as well. Get those knocked out real quick so you can put the token into your uh, Legend set as we do inch closer to that free Legend, slowly but surely, of course. Now, let's move over to the auction block. Well, let's go see the, let's make sure the packs are in and everything. Now, for the packs, guys, again, I don't recommend opening these. Like, we had that one week. They're not out. Oh, there they are. We had that one week where they were super, super glitchy. And, of course, I doubt that happens again. That was, like, a one-time thing with a series update. Nah, that was, like, the perfect storm. Let's open this pack, though. I've had these sitting here. I've been really wanting to open these. So, let's see if we can maybe pull Khalil Mack out of this. That's a pretty big animation right there. We get Malcolm Butler, of course. We get the, we get the, the worst thing you could possibly pull out of that pack. That is so frustrating. Wow. Okay. 85 plus. 85. Thank you, EA. But yeah, save your money in the pack. I'm telling you guys, the, the value is not worth it as much as it used to be, especially with the market so cheap. You could pull an LTD and still, you know, not be too happy about it, like Khalil Mack and get 380 cap reduction from it. So I, I recommend you save your coins for that. Cards are great to pick up. I don't know if they're great to pull for. But let's go check out the new uh, the new Legends. Check them out. Compare them to our current players, of course, and see what we're working with here. Now, I was looking at Ladanian Thomas price, you guys see here. I do want to scoop him up as soon as possible. But let's go to 93. So guys, Joe Montana is up on the block. I'm going to turn the face cam off for a second so you guys can see his card art. Pretty cool looking, honestly, wearing his 49ers hat there after either a conference win or a Super Bowl win. I can't really make out what that says in there. Probably, I'm going to guess conference, but let's go check that out real quick. Let's go check out his attributes. 80 speed is actually, it's actually not bad. I'm not going to lie, I thought it would be more average. 80 speed is not bad. 90 throw power is not bad. 92 plus, short accuracy is not bad. 91 medium accuracy is good. 90 deep accuracy is really good. 90 throwing the pressure, 90 throwing the run, and 91 play action. He's actually really good at Okay. He's really good, but here's the thing. Does he compare to Russell Wilson, right? Because if Russell Wilson has pretty much the exact same stats, you definitely want the speed increase, right? That's just my thinking there. I'd have to imagine that. But now, for all those competitive players, they're definitely salivating at the idea of having a quarterback that can run and simultaneously throw. Now, I think Russell Wilson might be the better bet, but then again, if you're a guy with the six foot two height and you feel like that's all important and stuff, maybe not. So he's a really good quarterback. Chemed up and powered up, guys. You can get his accuracy to like mid 90s. Uh, you can get his deep to like a 95 if you wanted to. You can get his throw power up to like a 94. He's not bad. He's a good quarterback. He's This is the best Joe Montana card they've dropped as his first card in a while. Usually they kind of kill his card. I do actually like this card a lot. 
It's been a while since we've been able to play with a good Joe Montana. They always give him like bad throw power, but 90 throw power is right in line, right? Like that's right in line. 94 throw power is competitive. And he's also, he hits every threshold. Like I like, I don't have to do anything extra. No BS, no gimmicks. He gets right to the point. And he has an 80 speed, which is a nice, usually stick a 76, 77, 80 speed. Joe Montana's good. Joe Montana's really good. Now again, do I think he's better than Russell Wilson? Now that's a tough comparison, right? Now I do want to go check out Russell Wilson real quick for you guys. I feel like that's a definitely an important comparison to make to see if it is going to be competitive in terms of like who to go with. Let's go down to Russell Wilson real quick and check him out. For all you guys probably wondering. Okay, so Russell Wilson has one less throw power, one less medium, one less play action. Now here's the thing. Powered up and cammed up, which of course that's the only way to equal it out because they're both 93 overalls. He'll have 84 speed, 90 throw power, 92 throw short, 90 throw medium, 93 throw deep, 91 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and 90 play action. So Russell Wilson's better, right? Because he's gonna have the same throw power, I think better accuracy, better deep, same short, one less mid. It's gonna be pretty much the same across the board. All threshold and passing, plus four speed. I guess it depends on abilities, right? Because then if you want like hot run master, which I think Joe Montana gets versus like escape artist or something which Russell Wilson will get, it comes down to that now. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. Russell Wilson and Joe Montana are two good quarterbacks. I really do like them. I think they're really, really good. Now, of course, we do have another one to check out where you have the other new legend for today, which John Randall, I think, I think, I think it's probably gonna be the better of the two, despite Joe Montana being really good. Now he's not out yet, but I know John Randall's gonna be really, really good. All right, and John Randall LTD is up on the block, 1.5 million. Yeah, they, they love this card art. This seems to be the card art they always seem to use. Him with all that eye black. Something similar, at least. I mean, he probably wore it a lot, but you guys get the point. So this is already powered up and chemmed up. Right, well, powered up, not chemmed up yet. So he's gonna get 79 speed, 90 excel, 89 strength, 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 89 block shed, 88 power move, and 93 finesse move. Okay, so defensive tackle, finesse move, insane. With 90 excel and pretty much 80 speed, insane. Gonna be insane at pass rushing now. What really bothers me a lot is that 89 block shit. So you're gonna have to get run stuff on them. I'd recommend if it's just like a plus five, you can just get five backups with block shit, uh, run stuff on them, just do it for them. You don't have to do like anything crazy, but you need that you need that block shit to get to a 90. Once you get the block shit to a 90, he's going to be crazy. He's gonna be he's gonna feel like having like Joey Bosa on the outside, just getting quick sheds in the middle, probably, as well as being able to stop the run. You gotta get run stuff on him though. I feel like once you get that, you'll be able to be a dual purpose all every down defensive tackle. Cause right, when you have a slow defensive tackle that can only run stuff, he's only a short uh, you know short yardage kind of guy. When you only have a, a defensive tackle with decent speed and good finesse move, he's only like a passing down kind of guy. A guy like John Randall stays in the game all game. I think he's really, really good. I do like him. Six foot one, two ninety. He's a good he's a good card. He has a really, really good card in 89 impact blocking, hit power 88. Good card. Now, I do wish he had the 80 speed. I know it's not a big difference, but it looks better. I also wish he had 90 block checks. If he did, you could just put... And it's up to you guys, right? But you could just put pass rush on him, and you could probably get a finesse move up to like a 97, 98. Like, that'd be crazy. If you really want to go that route, you could. So again, it's up to you guys in terms of what you think is more purposeful for you. Like if you would rather have the block shed equal at 90 threshold, which I think it makes more sense to get two thresholds and get one finesse move higher. Um, Not one up higher, but one stat category up higher. But either way, he's going to be great. Whether you make him a, a, a god at pass rushing or a god at run stuffing or, or dual purpose, going to be great regardless. So definitely take advantage of that and, you know, do, 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 do that to the best of your ability. Now, what are good price points for these guys? I say John Randall around 400K. Same thing as Mean Joe Green. He falls within that range. is a pretty good buy. I think Mean Joe Green's overpriced, actually. When you compare them to the to John Randall and you really look at it, John Randall's better. He's going to get the block shed as well. Now, Mean Joe Green is going to be better in terms of he's already threshold both ways. But he's four speed slower, six excel less, which is going to be important. And he's a finesse move guy, which usually is like those quick sheds. But guys, better for the video. It kind of wraps up all the players and stuff we have to go over. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to pick up these cards, I know it's my reserve down below. You just go pull to 15% off. Take advantage, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will be posting another video today. I'm probably going over like a most feared S stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. See you later. Peace.